All right, let's give a round of applause to our next team. They always say that we are the tomorrow. Tomorrow is childhood obesity. Tomorrow is diabetes. America, wake up. There is no tomorrow. Put the phones down, get up and get out. We are Fit Billy. On behalf of George Washington High School, we present Fit Philly a nonprofit community outreach program located in the Bustleton and Somerton regions of Northeast Philadelphia. Our, our team chose challenge number two, to improve and instill healthy living habits into the community. Our team chose this challenge because Philadelphia has a higher BMI percentage than its surrounding cities. Higher ratios of body fat may lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, and overall lower immune system health. This is not okay. As you can see from the map behind me, the Northeast region of Philadelphia has some of the lowest obesity rates among the whole city. However, our city's lowest obesity rates are at almost 20%. That's one out of every five. We as Fit Philly have decided to work hand in hand with our community to bring those numbers all the way down. Our proposed solution for this challenge was to ingrain healthy living habits within the community. We did this by collaborating with our local recreation center and library, as well as arranging a healthy living challenge within our school. Our team encouraged fitness and healthy living habits by creating a safe area where students came together, socialized, and meditated. To engage with students in our school, Fit Philly offered a healthy living challenge where we gave the opportunity to students to learn about the importance of nutrition, physical health, and stable mental health. Within these four weeks, we studied, the, um, we studied the correlation between the healthy living habits and their impact on mental health as well as great improvement. In partnership with the Free Library of Philadelphia, Fit Philly held weekly community outreaches for students and children along with their parents in order to communicate and really teach the importance of living a healthy lifestyle. Our initial goal to our community was to inspire and integrate healthy foods, but, um, fitness, and fun. Which resulted in the three E's, excitement, eagerness, and enjoyment. Excitement came when the community found that um, healthy eating can be exciting, and eagerness came when the community got together and was eager to participate in our events and get moving. And enjoyment came when everyone found out that having a healthy lifestyle can be satisfying and can be fun. Studies have been conducted and proven around the world that people who have switched from almost no fruit and vegetable diet to at least five portions of fruits and vegetables each day had a significant increase in life satisfaction, which is parallel to what an unemployed person feels after finding a job. For our challenge, we handed out surveys to our participants at the initial meetings and after four weeks in order to evaluate how things have changed in their lives. We asked several things on our surveys, including how happy are you, how anxious are you, how depressed are you? And from our surveys, we found that 4.6% uh, overall weight loss, a 20% increase in overall happiness, and a 20% decrease in anxiety and depression. In order for us to continue our mission, we plan to expand to other free libraries and rec centers all over the city. We've already started to add more members to our Fitfully team to ensure that we are that our Fit Philly team continues on. So what we've done to increase our social media is that we've created a website, fitphilly.org, along with an app that's available for both Apple and Android. We were also available on several different social media platforms where you can find healthy recipes, exercise routines, and we'll help you make healthy a lifestyle. Fit Philly's legacy will not end when we walk out of these doors. We are Fit Philly, and this is what we stand for. video.
Let's give Fit Philly a round of applause. All right, I should have been in your club, seriously. We have three minutes for question and answer. Good morning, and just to say this was, you, you all did an amazing job, um, and congratulations for making it this far. <laughs> My first question is in reference to many of you mentioned partnerships. How did you go about identifying your partnerships, and how do you plan to use your partnerships to expand the work moving forward? Are you referring to the partnership with the library? Yes. All right, well, we started by first reaching out to our closest library and then getting in touch with in contact with everyone in charge there and then we plan on just linking up with different libraries in different neighborhoods so that with each library and each rec center we're targeting a different area of the city and we got permission from the head of that library to have a specific time every single week to continue the fit philly program a great job i just downloaded your app and, and i love these i love your serving food on this this is kind of frisbee that's awesome <laughs> Um, and you look like a fun group. So what was the most fun thing that you did during this whole challenge? Um, I think the most fun thing was probably getting to know each other at the same time trying to get ready for the competition and at the same time working with kids because uh, we all really enjoyed the children. They were really great and amazing kids, eager to learn, eager to learn yes. Great, great job, guys. Um, I want to know, you know, I know that one of the ideas was that you wanted to have parents involved as well. How did you, did you get, how did that go? Or did you have a great parental participation? Yeah, the parents were there and um, we had one parent come up to us and tell us how her child was like getting bullied and stuff and how this was the place where she could bring her child to be herself and we really enjoyed hearing that. And the parents were there, they talked to us, we communicated with them and talked to them about how they could do it at home too. During your research, you guys, once again, everyone thinks you did an amazing job, but question about uh, during your research, did you find out anything about like access to food in certain neighborhoods? Because uh, there is an issue about you know the association of poverty and being able to get fresh, healthy foods in local communities. And how would you address that? Unfortunately, um, a cheeseburger is cheaper than a bag of apples. Absolutely. Um, of course, your access to fresh food coincides with what your zip code is. Um, that's definitely an issue and something that needs to be addressed um, with the city. Um, we plan to partner with our school to make a community garden so that we can help those around us. So. Uh, great idea. Thank you. How did this transform you personally? Um, I think we all learned how to deal with little children. You know, they're always uh, hyper and <laughs> hyperactive. So um, it just taught us leadership qualities, uh, made us learn that patience is really important, especially that teamwork is also very important. Time's up. Let's give Fifth Philly a round of applause. Yeah.